In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your default message. Now, I don't always use a default message. In fact, on my Stellar Media marketing page, I don't use it at all. I find that on that particular page, in most instances, it causes more problems than it solves. But on this page, my Baby Got Bot page, it's actually really handy, and that is exactly where we are going to apply it. So on your dashboard, you're going to go ahead and go to Settings and Messenger. And then right there at the top, you'll see where it says edit next to default reply. So we're gonna click on that. Now up here at the very top, you'll see it's enabled right now or disabled. And also you have the choice to fire it every time or just once every 24 hours. So first let's talk a bit about what is a default message? Well, anytime someone messages your page out of the blue and there's no keyword or anything prompting it, then that's going to kind of go nowhere. So the default message picks up and says, oh, hey, you know, they'll get back to you or whatever you want the default message to say. You could do that every 24 hours, which is recommended, or you could do it every single time someone does that, which can be kind of chaotic and does cause problems. So I would say once per 24 hours. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on edit and we're gonna start this flow from scratch here. So we're going to click on the add text. Your content type in this case is other because that end user has opened that 24 hour window by typing. And we'll just put a message in here. Um, I put the message page name, which by the way, you have, you can just go here to page name and it will put in your page name. So in this case, it says baby got bought typically replies in about one day. If you want to ask something, just press the talk to human button. So We're going to add a button. We're going to make it talk to human. And then we will have that go to another message. So we're just going to go to this little dot right here. And we're going to drag it over and click on send message. This content type is also other. And there's a couple of ways we could do this. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. I'm just going to say, you know, let us know what you want to talk about. And we'll be right with you. So I'm saying no problem. Let's go ahead and put their first name in here. We're going to go to that little bracket thing again. Click on first name. All right. So I'm just going to let them type whatever they want. Now, in other examples I've shown you, I've actually shown that we've saved their response at this point and we've saved it to a cuff, a custom field, and I've sent that to the talk to the human person. In this way, I'm going to do it a little different. It's up to you how you want to do it. So in this case, we're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says continue to another step and click that box. You'll see what happens is it adds another step bubble. We're going to drag that over and we're going to click on actions. Now our action in this case, we're just going to mark conversation as open. And if you want, you don't have to. So if you have a free account and you don't want to do the, you can't do the notify admin, you could just leave it open at that point and just make sure that you're checking in, you know, to make sure somebody is there to respond. If you want to take it that extra step, go ahead, notify. We're going to go in here. Would like to talk to a human because they're going to type whatever they're going to type. And then we're going to select messenger. In this case, I'm not selecting email because I don't read my email from any chat. I do read my messenger notifications. Now you'll notice in the other videos where I've showed you how to do like the notify admin that I also had an SMS feature enabled. In order to do that, you'd have to enable SMS. I don't have SMS on this particular page, so I'm not concerned with it. So I'm just going to go with messenger here and then we're going to hit publish. So now if someone were to go in and type just a random message, maybe ask a question and they're just going to send a message, then this is what's going to pop up every 24 hour cycle for that person. And then it's going to open up that message in my inbox, my live chat right here. And I'll be able to go in and converse with those people and see the message that they typed. So it's that simple. There you go. Now you have a default message.